Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, I start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers who have joined my uh, channel. And if you're watching this video, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It doesn't cost you anything at all to subscribe. And if you hit the bell icon, you get notification of new videos that I send out. Model Railways Direct Limited recently had a sale on and I've purchased these Dapple Silver Bullet Wagons. So we'll just take a closer look at them. This is a weathered one. As you can see, and it's uh, the NACO branding. Then behind that is a silver one. Beside that is another silver one. And just sneaking in the back there is another silver one. But this is the uh, different logo on it. It's the Imiwa livery. And then there's a fifth one that's weathered. They all come with a little detailing bag there with the uh, brake pipes and a few other things in there. I won't be fitting them. I never do. But these uh, Dapple Silver Bullets are really brilliant wagons. The detail we get on them and no bits have fallen off, all complete. And the numbers are the uh, Ermiwa. Don't know how you say that. Nobody seems to know how you say that. That's E R M E W A. That wagon is uh, the numbers four F stroke zero two seven stroke zero two zero. And then there's a uh, 021, there's 022, and 024. So I paid from 3146 for the Miwa one. Then it was 3275 for the silver ones. And then the two weathered ones was thirty six fifty one in the sale, which was a good price. There's a lot of detail on these. Might put my flash on, so hopefully I'll wear. You'll be able to see them better. You can read all the plates. It goes into focus. Is really good though. 
I've already got, I think it's four, four that I got. I got two off eBay and I got two from Derails previously. They don't have sprung buffers, just solid buffers. But the gangways are really good. Get the metal handrails. There's a lot of underbody details as well. Like these uh, cylinders there for the air brakes. These are fitted with air brakes. You can see all the writing there that you can read. Operating pressures. I think it says 5 bar. It's either 3 or 5 bar. Notice this one's got the uh, blue hand wheels on it. Blue and yellow. Another one's are red, red and white. Okay, this is just a quick look at these uh, double wagons that I've had. And uh, I'd like to say now about a little bit on the, the Deltic, the Royal Scots Grey Deltic. I've had so many people tell me that it has, is actually grey, the roof. It was painted silver at one time, back in 2011 when it was preserved. But as a, a working local, it had grey roof. Deltic Preservation Society, somebody from there got back to me and says it was grey. A Curacao scale got back to me saying it was grey. And uh, there's other people that are saying that it's grey. So... How can we argue? We just have to accept it's grey. But as somebody said to me in one of my comments that uh, if I had a bit of weathering on it, it might tone down the grey so it's not so in your face, basically. So I might do that with uh, some black wash as weathering. Okay, I'll uh, upload this video and uh, say thank you very much. And as I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And it will help my channel grow so I can bring you more content. Thank you very much for my uh, new subscribers, as I said. And uh, happy modelling. And I say uh, hi to my friend Danny at... South Line, Southern Line. He's had some new uh, stuff he's put up recently. If you want to nip over to his channel and have a look. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll say bye for now.